Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, ably represented here this morning by Dr. Jumoke, and of course, our able Governor, Governor Umar Namadi, the Governor of Jigawa State, a man for whom I have the highest respect because the governor has faithfully said yes to every event that Business Day has invited him. He flew in this morning into Lagos just to be with us today. When we asked him to join us at our CEO Forum, he was there as well. Mr. Governor, we appreciate you at Business Day, not just because you honor us, but because of your dedication to your duties in Jigawa State. Warmly, I welcome you. Thank you so much, Mr. Governor. Of course, of course I welcome very warmly a number of his commissioners who have come out of Jiga State to be with us this morning. And I welcome our own very good friend and commissioner in Lagos State Government. Madam, welcome this morning. Thank you for coming. I welcome our diplomats and those who are representing diplomatic missions in Nigeria. I, in particular, welcome the commercial attaché from the U.S. Embassy. You're welcome, madam. I welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're here physically or whether you are, have joined us online. I leave my last welcome, of course, to our friend Tayo Oyedele, who is the presidential advisor. When I saw him this morning, I said to him, I don't know what I'm going to pay you. We have him at our event for CEOs on Thursday. And just like he will rush off from here, so he plans to rush off on Thursday. But again, Taiwo, we appreciate you. Again, not just because you are here today, but because of the diligence with which you have started to do your work as presidential advisor. So thank you, sir, for coming. Today, it is not about me. I am not making a speech. My task is a very simple one, and it's to say welcome to all of you. We have panelists and speakers lined up that I'm sure will interest you as we get the event going. But let me very quickly make one or two points. Nigeria is at crossroads, and so is the rest of Africa. But you know one interesting thing? A good part of Africa is making very steady progress. And we would love to say that about the giant Nigeria. In 2019, just before COVID broke out, I was having a conversation with Dr. Ngozi okonjo at the Economic Forum in Davos. And she said to me, Frank, you know what? And I'm happy we're going to be getting a message from her this morning. It is no longer about going outside of Africa to look for examples that Nigeria needs to take interest in. In Africa today, they are very good examples. And for me, that's one key thing that I would like to leave with you. The Nigerians are at a point where they have gone beyond hearing about the potentials of Nigeria. They actually want to see the realization of those potentials. We won't lose hope 
especially given the friends of Nigeria who are gathered here this morning and others who are willing to join with us to make very quick progress, not only to stop our people going into poverty, but to bring out of poverty those who are already locked in. So ladies and gentlemen, as we discuss trade and investment in Africa, I am personally looking forward to listening to our great speakers this morning. But most importantly, I hope we can begin to look at what we must do in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Kenya, in Namibia, in Morocco, and other countries, what we must do so that the African dream can be realized. Whatever we do this morning, don't let us look, lose focus on that. We need to give hope to our people, and I believe it is possible. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you warmly to the 2024 session of the Business Day Africa Trade and Investment Summit holding in Lagos, but of course joined by Africans from around the continent. I want to thank our sponsors who have joined with us this morning to stage this event. I have absolutely no doubt that the time you will be spending with us this morning will be very well spent. On that note, Your Excellency or Your Excellencies, let me thank you for coming and take leave of you so we can actually get the business started. Thank you very much.